Equity markets came in overnight with big declines and it looked like it was going to be a very down day reds across the board when we came in this morning. Uh, but ultimately they were able to fight back. Yeah, we had some big lifts in Amazon, big lifts in Google that really stole the headlines. We saw the equity markets just sort of creep higher late morning and then boom, late in mid afternoon, we saw things turn positive. Now it wasn't a big update, but it certainly took what could have been a very bad day and made it into kind of an ho hum day, at least uh, on the charts. And at this point right now we maintain that bullish momentum we you know we're not at all-time highs anymore we hit the all-time highs uh, late last week just before the Friday sell-off but at this point it seems that the market is gearing up towards uh, potentially testing those new highs as early as tomorrow or later on this week uh, the equity markets have seen have priced in very little fear we had moments only uh, since this whole uh, tension started to rise in the Middle East uh, between Iran and the US and it looks to me now that uh, that this that the equity markets are not going going to, to, to stay very long on the in the red. They're going to continue to move higher. Uh, buyers are looking at dips as opportunities. And I think at this point, when you look at Treasury yields continuing to creep higher, despite the fact that what's going on in the Middle East, uh, the only real surprise here is that gold prices, while they're off their highs as well, maintain uh, some bullish uh, momentum. But equity prices right now, really not phased by what's going on. Yeah, we had a couple of days we were down, but now we're right back up. We've sort of erased all those declines. And that looks to be looks to continue as we head into this week, unless something else new comes out of left field. Uh, the VIX index got to its highest level since early December on that move lower, but was quickly erased. And obviously tensions uh, haven't really shifted. I think that the, the perception has and the VIX index right now saying nothing to worry about as it gets back down uh, to around 14. So it's still elevated based on where we've been trading it over the last several several months, but it's not based where, where it should be based on all, all the risks that are, that are being thrown around and all the tensions that we're seeing in the Middle East and the back and forth. So at this point, the volatility trade is back to norm. Uh, equity prices moving up. As far as the geopolitical tensions go, uh, they're going to be around. They're not going anywhere overnight. Uh, it, this is the first time we're talking about an equity trade that didn't involve the China and U.S. trade deal. Uh, not a good one at that, but uh, we were hoping to see maybe some positive economic data that would push equity prices higher. Uh, at this point, it's going to be a sustained period. Yes, equity prices are going to trade with much more optimism as they have throughout over the last year or so when we talk about the China U.S. trade, they're dealing in the same sort of realm here of optimism that we saw there. Uh, until we get some reality, until something happens, uh, the equity prices are going to continue to err on the side of risk. And we're not going to see them erring on the side of caution like we do, like we have in the past. Uh, equities have been the go-to area ever since the Fed got over-involved in the markets. And if you look at the trend that we've seen, it continues to sow very bullishness, very bullish trends uh, that will continue. And an all-time high uh, is probably right around the corner, sparing any new data, any new information that we haven't yet, uh, that we haven't yet absorbed. So I see no reason why 30, uh, you know, E-mini 3700 isn't possible in the short term. But at this point, uh, where it's going to be steady as she goes, we may see some hiccups. But again, as I said, those declines are not seen as a fear provoked sell off. They're looked at as buying opportunities as we saw today. And that should continue in the near future until more data becomes apparent, until more information presents itself and until things get back to normal.